Well, no one's offering you a lesson because no one has decided where you need to be in relationship where you are. You're the one who is through life experience setting the bar for yourself. You're the one who's creating the vortex version. And so it's only the distance between what you've become and what you're allowing yourself to be that equals your life experience. But the question that you're asking, and it's easy for us to explain it here, given the basis that we started with as we began this morning, when you understand that you have a point of attraction, that you have a vibrational grid that you practice. So let's say, for example, this woman that we were describing, who sort of feels put upon. She feels that people aren't taking good care of her. She feels that she's being taken advantage of. She has an unworthiness issue that is going on. And unworthiness is such a heavy label to give something, but it's the drum she beats. It's what she practices. So if you believe that you're not being honored, if you're not being cared for, if you believe that you're being taken advantage of, then law of attraction is going to bring you someone who is looking for someone to take advantage of. You are the perfect person that matches up with that, you see. And so whenever anything happens to you, no matter what manifests, at its basis, at the basis of the reality that you are living, is a vibration that has a feeling. So if you will stop and ask yourself, let's say that someone treats you badly and steals from you, what would be the emotion that you would use to describe that? Betrayal. How would that feel? Betrayal. Betrayal. Mm -hmm. So give other emotional words to that. Betrayal. Rage, resentment, um, wrong, uh, being done. Hard, the betrayal hard. was the deepest one, wasn't mm. it? Betrayal meaning um, victim, mm. meaning not acknowledged, meaning not revered, meaning mm. not blessed meaning not worthy, meaning unworthy. And so if you've got that sort of vibration going on, in other words, once it happens, you can stop and say, well, wait a minute. It didn't just happen to me. It happened to me for a reason. It happened to me for a vibrational reason. It didn't happen to me for a vibrational reason of something that happened 20 years ago or 10 years ago or yesterday. It happened to me for a reason that that's still active in my vibration today. And if you will look, you will see plenty of evidence of that. If you will listen to the things you say, the things you say are giving evidence to that all day, every day. When you begin to allow yourself some alignment that can come through 15 minutes of meditation, some alignment that comes from offering words of appreciation, of sort of ramping that up deliberately. When you pull into a place of business and you know that parking is at a premium and someone pulls out just as you pull in, note your worthiness. Note not your worthiness in the sense that you are being granted the parking place while the others are being denied it. Note your worthiness in the sense that your grid just filled in with something you wanted because you weren't doing something to block that. The inspiration of where you went, when you went, the way you turned. Now, many of you think, well, that's just so much of a coincidence or something that is so unimportant. But we say, practice those things. Notice those things. When you take the time to identify something wanted and you realize that you're not holding a steady vibration about it because you know what you don't want and you know what you do want and you really know what you do want but you really know what you don't want and you want it but you don't have it and you want it but you don't have it and they don't have it either but so you know where your vibration is you know you're sort of all over the place and then you deliberately start thinking more about what you want and feeling better about it you start practicing it and you notice the difference in the way you feel other people around you will begin to notice it too and then something happens something will happen something will be realized by you that is different than it usually has been and if you and only if you have been deliberately aware of what you were doing vibrationally and if you have deliberately been shifting your vibration to feeling a little better and feeling a little better when that manifestation happens your sense of worthiness is going to go off the charts you're going to for a moment know that you have accomplished your relationship with you you see, you're never being deprived. There is no one ever withholding good stuff from you. You're the only one who is withholding it. So you are the only one who can render yourself unworthy. You are the only one who can render yourself unlucky. We know it feels to you like others are doing things to you because action is coming at you. Your grid's filling in. Oh, 
Your grid's filling in. And when your grid fills in with stuff you don't want, it feels like other people are doing it to you. And I wouldn't do this to me because I wouldn't want that to come to me. But your grid is filling in every time with what you're inviting by your practiced vibration. So when you get that, when you discover that, and the only way we're never encouraging you to walk around noticing the negative emotions that you're feeling and trying to change them because that's trying to defy law of attraction. When you say, I'm not going to think about that anymore. I'm not going to think about that thing that I'm thinking about because when I think about that thing that I'm thinking about, then I'm thinking about something I shouldn't be thinking about. And I'm not going to think about that thing that I'm thinking about. You're thinking about that thing that you don't want to think about. And law, <laughs> and law of attraction is making it a whole lot easier to keep thinking about that thing you want to think about because now evidence about that thing you don't want to think about is coming. Now you're really thinking about it. Now you're talking about it and you're blogging about it now you're <laughs> there's a momentum in everything that you're giving your attention to so you have to decide that you're going to break the momentum not by stopping thinking about that but by beginning thinking about that and you can't think too far away from that because that has enough momentum that it's drawing you to that so you can't not think about that and start thinking about that there's too much of a spread you have to gently you're, if a train is going 100 miles an hour that way and you want it to go 100 miles an hour that way you don't want it to happen suddenly <laughs> it would be hard on its contents you know that the momentum will slow and then you can begin again and so that really is what changing the direction of your thought is about it's about slowing the momentum that isn't serving you and then beginning the momentum that does serve you right that's why getting into those general statements helps you the most so slowly forgiving over time a situation of fraudulence or and and not trying to do it overnight but just going that happened for a reason i invited it it's teaching me how to go for what i do want and and doing it gradually that's what we would do we would welcome every negative emotion that we feel because without negative emotion you would not know positive emotion mm. without knowing what you don't want you could not know what you do want and it is all part of the process this deliberate creating thing is really a wonderful thing. You've all come wanting to mold the clay and the clay in this case is the energy of your mind, you see. So when you are standing right in the middle of your life experience and you are aware of what you are perceiving and if you are aware that what you're perceiving isn't pleasing you very much, if you could just take away from this gathering just one law-based so important thought it's my perception of this that is hurting me not what it actually is now we know that feels like a stretch but if you could start by saying it's my perception of this that is hurting me because you see you can control your perception you can't control what you think it is yeah but you can control your perception. You can go more general, or you could think about it less often, or you could think about other things. You have the ability to alter your perception about everything. And there are a lot of you, even in this audience, who say, I didn't think I was supposed to be altering my perception. I thought I was supposed to be sort of evaluating the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses. And we say, yes, of course you're doing that because that's how you come to your conclusions of preference. But it is not your job to get rid of the unwanted. It is your job to tune it out of your frequency. Mm -hmm. When you turn your radio on and you want to hear a particular broadcast, you don't condemn the other stations that are broadcasting. You just tune your tuner. You could spend all day every day. Well, I don't want that. And I certainly don't want that. And I certainly don't want that. Just tune the dial to what you do want. It will be there loud and clear. And the more often you tune that dial, then the more easy it will be. You'll have preset buttons for that all the time. In other words, it will just be easier and easier and easier. The universe is delivering to you. We started to say the universe will bring you what you want. Then we wanted to add to that by saying the universe not only is bringing you what you want, but a better way of saying it is the universe is bringing you what you are broadcasting. And now we want to say even more clearly, the universe is bringing you what you've practiced thinking about. Mm -hmm. So if you make a decision that you're going to feel differently, it will be easier for you to practice vibrations that will serve you better. Mm. There's so much we want to say to you. You can feel the power of your wanting. You can feel the clarity of who you are. And so I want to give you something here that is going to take you into a place that you have not been before. So just relax and enjoy this explanation. It will serve you really, really well. So you are sifting through the variety and you're coming to personal preferences about what you want. And 
Those preferences are being known, acknowledged, and tended to by the larger part of you. And now you have a relationship between you and you, a relationship that you can feel emotionally. If you had not expanded to a new place, you could not feel the discord of not going there. So every bit of negative emotion that you feel is a lovely indicator of your new expansion. Don't you like knowing that? Mm -hmm. If you hadn't become this, then this wouldn't feel uncomfortable. And having become this is everything. That's why you came forward for eternal, joyful expansion. So if there is one thing that if we could zap you with, we would, we can't, so we won't, but we want you to get it anyway. If there's one thing that we would really like you to understand, it's that where you are is perfect, 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 perfect from our point of view. You haven't done something wrong. There is not something that you need to change. Where you stand is in this perfect relationship between a more expanded version of you maybe than you are allowing, but it's perfect where you are because now you get to do something about closing that gap. And that is what life is. If you're worried about what you haven't yet achieved, you got to give that up because there's always going to be way more than you haven't achieved than that you have achieved because you are eternal beings and you're not ever going to get it done. So you must make peace with the never endedness of the journey. So often our physical friends say, well, when I get over there, when I find that lover, or when I get into that new house or when I find that job or when, 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 then I will feel happy. And we say, no, you won't because that's a flawed premise that you are operating from. But when you understand that there is always going to be a new perspective by you of the contrast that you're living that will launch you into a more expanded version and the fact that you have not yet achieved the realization the feeling in the grid the full manifestation of that expansion is not a bad thing it's an eternal thing so make peace with what has not yet manifested you'll feel better it's why we start the way we do every single time are you enjoying the contrast of your time and place do you like the desire that is hashed within you do you like that unfulfilled desire and we want so much for your answer to be yes especially the unfulfilled desire especially the stuff that hasn't manifested I really like that because it means I'm alive I have expanded and I'm on a journey and I'm going to have the pleasure of closing that gap and there is nothing in all of the world that is more delicious than the actual visceral feeling of you closing a vibrational gap is what you live for is what we all live for you see you think that source is done so often that's the way humans look at it well source has got it all figured out you are the extension of that which source is and you're stirring it up for the new journey you see and the source within you is reveling in that journey it is only you that is languishing in your misunderstanding it is only you that is claiming your unworthiness it is only you that is choosing to feel inappropriate for not having already accomplished that journey and that one and that one but when you make peace with this never-ending journey then you'll start reveling in this negative emotion yes this is guidance too I love this feeling of discord because if there is a feeling of discord that means there is a feeling of accord and while I don't feel like it right now because I'm pretty mad at that guy I do recognize that I can find that forgiveness that will put love back in my heart because the alternative is a life of misery we don't want you to do it for them we want you to do it for you the most significant thing that you have asked from us here in this conversation is what is it that is at the heart of that discord and it is for the most part a human decision to feel unworthy and you're using as your reason the fact that you haven't yet achieved that and we're here to tell you there's always going to be another that and another that and another that and another that so it's time for you to make peace with where you stand and when you do where you stand is going to look way better than it did right before you did when you make peace with it and then the energy will start moving and you'll start having fun on that never-ending journey did you get that did you get that you got that you are such a blessing to all of us thank you so much we like everything you queued up it was really good and even though there are a lot of people who think they want to be in the chair there is nothing better in all of the world than could have happened than what just happened just now thank you now what on the